Well, everyone, Triple Tackle here. James Watson, eh, buddy, I think you went a bit too far this time. Well, our good friend James Watson was recently seen at the Bassmaster Classic Expo selling his FBD t-shirts and hats. You know, it stands for Fish Boat Ducks, right? Couldn't stand for anything else. Anyway... Well, he was seen out there on Luke Bryan's podcast, shot at a local honky tonk, and he said there's no way the selling of these hats and t-shirts could land him with any further fines, right? Well, not fines. He out of a job. You might remember just a couple of months back that Worldwide Watson himself took a tour on a couple of different podcasts saying that he might want to dial back his tone and what he says about MLF and Boy Duckett. You know, a little bit that he was starting to kind of feel the heat and that they kind of had him by the gonads and were twisting. Well, this is Worldwide Watts we're talking about here and nothing can stop the man. So lo and behold, when he showed up at the Bassmaster Classic in Tulsa, Oklahoma just this past weekend, selling his FBD t-shirts and hats, going on a podcast with Luke Bryan, well, it looks like it got the officials over at MLF's eyes and ears. It's not coincidental that here on Good Friday... A week after the Classic, MLF releases the following statement. Major League Fishing announced Friday that Bass Pro Tour angler James Watson has been suspended for multiple violations of the standards outlined in the 2024 MLF Angler and League Participation Agreement and the 2024 Professional Bass Tour Talent and Promotion Agreement. Watson's invitation to compete in the Bass Pro Tour has been revoked and he is prohibited from fishing any Major League Fishing Station tournaments while serving his suspension. Watson's suspension began on March 29, 2024, and will continue through December 31st of 2025. Watson may reapply to compete in MLF tournaments beginning with the 2026 season. The vacancy created by Watson's suspension from the Bass Pro Tour will not be filled. The 2024 season will continue on with 79 anglers. There are no changes to the 2024 BPT payouts or structure. There you have it, folks. Boyd Duckett himself finally hit his line, said screw it, and cut Mr. Watson off of the freaking knees. So it looks like that nice little publicity tour through the Bassmaster Classic Expo, selling all that FBD merchandise, might have come back to bite him in the butt. He was saying while on Luke Bryan's podcast that he was going to need to sell about 1,200 hats to make up for all of his fines he had left to pay. Well, now homeboy is going to be looking for a different place to fish. The fact he was openly mocking that he was going to have to sell 1,200 hats to make up for the fines and that there was no way these hats could garner him any additional fines, I think that was the straw that broke the camel's back. Boyd's had enough. That leaves us to today, March 29, 2024, a day that will live in infamy. The day that uh, Boyd Duggett himself finally said, you know what, not FBD, FJW. Whether it be Spencer Shuffield or Keith Poche or whoever we've talked about with whatever organization in the past, there's always a stipulation in the rules that talk about how anglers can't talk disparagingly about the organization they're fishing with. Same goes for James Watson. It looks like MLF had a pretty long leash with him before finally chanking it up around his neck and saying enough's enough. Anyway, RIP James Watson and MLF for 2024 clear to 2026. Guys, I appreciate y'all being with me through my coverage of the classic. Do me a favor. Please comment, like, share, subscribe. Hell, even become a member. Help support the channel. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Thank you so much. Until next time we meet, do me a favor, get out there in the water, keep it wet.